Hey guys, so um, a lot of you have kind of had a lot of questions about what's been happening this past two weeks and I am here to tell you. Well, you guys, I don't really do videos like this, but I've just been kind of annoyed lately with how a lot of things have panned out, especially, you know, after our breakup because, you know, a lot of people do, you know, tend to deal with breakups differently, as you guys can see. Excuse the alarm. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter about anything else besides our daughter. And I've been getting a lot of tweets and a lot of DMs and a lot of things basically painting me out to be the bad person when in general and, you know, this whole thing, it's like we're two different people living two different lives now. And the only thing that kind of puts us together is our daughter. And... Uh, like a lot of you know, I kind of went down to the bay, not kind of, I went back down to the bay um, for Mother's Day and I brought my daughter. A lot of people are hitting me up saying, oh, like, why would you take your daughter and this and this and that? First of all, it was not in a malicious way. It was because it was Mother's Day and I would like to have spent it with my daughter. On top of that, my mom's birthday was coming up. So I brought us down. Or we all came down here. And when it comes to this, like, growing up, my parents were, you know, when they had divorced... I kind of like blamed, you know, I had times of blaming my mom for it and I had times of blaming my dad for it. And, you know, I was young, but I never understood. And now that, you know, I'm in that situation and I have a young daughter, like I understand like what my parents were going through. Sometimes you just, you know, you can love a person, but you don't want to be with them and that's okay. And nobody's here to look bad. Like me and Ronnie were both great parents and we both love our daughter. And that's not, you know, that's not the crazy factor here it's more so a, a lot of you guys just assuming stuff like because I I've been going out with my cousins and dancing and you know drinking to have a good time you guys don't understand I have not gone out in the past three to almost four years I have been you know at home I put myself and in, in my family in this bubble and you know we just been at home and you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm just saying, like, you know, I came out here and, you know, I'm with my family and they want to take me out and they want me to get my mind off of things. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with going out. When you become a parent, your life doesn't stop. You can still go out and you can still have fun. And that's what I do. But I come back to my daughter at night. I went out a couple nights in a row and everybody's like, oh my God, if you're going to do that, you should have just left your daughter in LA. Like that, like that's just crazy. And and a lot of my friends have been getting DMs from, you know, random people saying like, oh, homewrecker this, do this, blah, 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 blah. Like, it's just crazy, guys. We live in a day and age where social media, basically, what you what people put out there, that's what you go off, of, off on. And I guess, you know, because that's all people really know. But there's a lot of things you don't want to put out there because it's personal. Me and Ronnie's fights or whatever the case may be, that's personal. But we're so good parents at the end of the day, and that's all that matters. Our daughters matter. I don't matter. He doesn't matter. Amir matters. And I just, I, it's just crazy to me. Like, I just, I, you know, a lot of people said, don't make this video because it's stupid. You don't have to explain yourself. But it's really getting annoying, and it's getting frustrating. Like, I've just been out here with my family, just been hanging out, um, did a couple photo shoots with some friends. Like, just really just been hanging out. Like, I'm from the Bay. My family and a lot of, you know, my friends and stuff are here. So, you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's it's stressful and all that kind of stuff. At the end of the day, I'm just trying to keep um, a positive outlook on a lot of this. We're going back to L.A. and, you know, I'm going to go back into the studio and we're going to figure out where we're going to go from there when it comes to this whole situation. But, you know, I'll answer your question. Like, are we going to get back together? Probably not. I don't know. It's just with the way things are going right now, it's this, I think we are, you know, better off separately when it comes to being together, but, you know, connecting when it comes to our daughter, that's all really that matters. And you know me, I'm right now, I don't have my camera, I'm just on my brother's like computer and all that kind of stuff. So that's why, you know, it, it doesn't look like, I know this is a whole public thing, relationship, whatever, and that's maybe our fault you know, for putting so much out there. But seriously, guys, like, do you not have a life after a relationship? Is that what's not supposed to happen? Can we not have a life after a relationship? Can we not have friends, 
even if it's the opposite sex, we can't have them as a friend because, oh, you just went through a breakup. So if you have a guy friend, you're hanging out with a guy friend, take a picture with a guy friend, you're a hoe or you're a slut or you're messing around with them or you're that's your new boyfriend. Like, oh my God, how could you do that? Like, come on, guys, seriously. Like, this is 2018. I thought we were, like, above that. Like, and just because you guys see what I'm doing you see all my snaps that I've been hanging out or I've been making new friends or connecting with old friends. It, that's the thing. You guys see it. And you're judging me off of things that I put out there for you guys to see. You guys should really be tripping off the stuff you don't see. But you can't because you don't see it. So be mad at me for sharing my fun with you guys. I don't know. But I just wanted to make this quick video. Let you guys know that me and my daughter are fine and that's all that matters. Well, I'm not taking my daughter from anybody. I'm not hiding her. We're, we're still like, you know, we're, we're not together, but you know, she's always going to bind us as a family. So that's basically it. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in and for listening to me ramble. But, you know, to lighten up the mood, here is some really cute videos of Amira. Bye. Go, Amira. Ooh. Amira, put your shirt down. Whoa. <laughs> Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. <laughs> you working? They're so in sync. I know. <laughs> swing it, girl. Swing it. Oh, swing that hair, girl. Swing that head. <laughs> We're at Chuck E. Cheese. Say hi. You just waiting on us? You ready for Chuck E. Cheese, girl? Give me an hour. I gotta get ready.